I mean? If they're not here, it gives me a chance for a little dance. Brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. There you go, so very freaking much tuning in. I did it. This is the last video I'm recording, and if you go back, that has been straight 10 videos back to back where I did the freaking intro one after another. I still have to do a lot of work, so my work is not done yet. My people are calling me, but I will stay here and do the work for you so that you get entertainment every single day until I'm back, which will be tomorrow with a live stream so hey make certain to be there say hi tell me how much you missed me because i have missed you a lot it hasn't happened yet but i can see the future and future tells me that i will have missed you a freaking lot also we're still on our way to 30k so if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel become part of the maloniacs i would appreciate it also very freaking much but enough with the yammering let's get into the air yeah, don't flash me hammer it <laughs> If you don't understand what that means, it means I'm talking about flashbangs, of course, you know, just a blinding light and you don't see anything. If you understood what I said, welcome to the uh, Adults Club. So, here is a Don't Flash Me Baron and Giada flash deck. I tried to make this deck work a lot of times, it never did, but now, with the new cards we have and everything, I think that this deck just turned out to be freaking insanely good. So, Aaron and Giada. You may look at the top card of your library anytime, which is already very darn freaking good, but what makes this even better is that you may cast spells with flash or flying from the top of your library. Of course, if they're only flying and not flash, you cannot freaking play them. But if they are flash, you can play them during your opponent's turn as well, which is absolutely freaking great. So, we have a lot of creatures that have flash and flying, so that is very darn freaking good. Uh, some of the new cards, let's get over them real freaking quick. We have the Aurelius Vindicator, just protecting yourself very darn good. You can play this from the top of your library, very darn freaking tasty. And the Azrim Agency Chief, and when it enters, makes it these two artifacts. You can stack one of them to give it either uh, Lifelink, Vigilance or Hexproof until end of turn. If you stack even more, you can do this, give him all of the abilities, you know, but it costs you a lot of mana. So yeah, it doesn't get uh, indestructible, so don't you even try. But for the rest, it is pretty darn freaking good. No more lies. It's not a flash spell, but you can still, you know, just counter something of theirs, which is very good. Uh, the Doorkeeper Thrall, which when it, uh, you know, keeps stuff from triggering abilities when it enters the battlefield. Just watch out. This is just to protect yourself. Don't play it if you're planning on playing the Azrim. I fell for the trap once. I forgot about it. And the Stream, uh, stream Core Scholar. It's Team Core Scholar. Also... Don't have the Doorkeeper Thrall down if you want to play this. With this you draw two cards, then you discard two cards unless you discard an instant or sorcery or a card with flying. So you can get rid of something that you don't want to see. Pretty darn freaking good. So what is the rest of the deck? Well, we have the Fairy Mastermind. It has flash, so we can play it whenever. Malcolm, just the same. Um, let's get over the other cards before. The Werefox Bodyguard, absolutely crazy good in this deck. It is our removal of choice. It works very darn freaking good in this deck. You can protect your own creatures with this. So if they want to wipe the board and there's one creature that you absolutely want to keep, like for example the Azrim, you just bring down the Warfox Bodyguard, put it on Azrim. Now they wipe the board, the Bodyguard leaves, but you get the Azrim back. Very, very freaking good. Tishana's Tidebinder. Oh my lord, this card is just always good, you know? You just target something of theirs with this. Just get it out of there forever and until Tishana leaves the battlefield they cannot use this artifact creature or planeswalker in their normal capabilities any freaking more. Uh, we have the Wandering Emperor. You can play this off the top of your library as well. Just, you know, very darn good because it has flash. And as long as it's like, you know, Kamigawa is still here, which will be until August or something like that, hey, you better play around this card. Uh, we have some Eganjus and Ottawara. Now let's talk about the best card in this deck. Academy freaking lore master. There will be one game where you will be going like, come on, nobody plays this one card. 
How are they able to, like, you know, play around the Academy Lore Master? That will happen. You will see that and you will go like, yo. How did the game find this one person in the world to place this one card while we are playing the Academy Lore Master? Why is the Academy Lore Master so good? Because it says at the beginning of each player's draw step, they may draw an additional card. If they do, spells now cost two more to cast for this turn. But as we are not playing anything during our turn normally anyways, we don't care. We don't freaking care. And while Eren and Giada is out, we can even decide if we want to do that. If there is like land on top while we like look at the top card of a library, we can say, you know, let's draw this land as well. Maybe there's something better below the land. So we can draw that card or play it later with the Eren and Giada. Don't really worry about it too freaking much. Uh, if there is like something on top that we know like an Aurelius Vindicator or an Azrim where we know or a, stream co a Steam Core Scholar where we know, okay, we want to, you know, play during this turn, just don't draw the card. And uh, you will be able to play it during this turn. Otherwise, we just don't care. Usually our opponents don't play Flash Tribal, so yeah, they will not draw the card, but you will draw the card. And if they draw the card, well, you have the Fairy Mastermind out, you also draw a card. So, absolutely insane. So if you have the Academy of Milor Master and they say, hey, I want to draw the extra card, just bring down the Fairy Mastermind, you take Takahashi right here, and draw an extra card yourself. Pretty darn good if you ask me. So that means that the Academy of Milor Master between your turn and their turn can draw you up to two extra cards, which is just absolutely what we want to freaking see. So yeah. That is all there is, Restless Anchorage, and this is actually a deck where you want to play at least two Seed Chrome Coasts, because you know the early game is pretty important. Malcolm also draws the cards, by the way, and if they don't get rid of Malcolm, you know, you can just play like an Azrim for free, or a Wandering Emperor, or really a Windicator, doesn't even freaking matter. And still, you know, keep up your mana for other stuff. So thank you all so very freaking much for indulging with me in the last freaking 10 days, looking exactly the same over and over and over again. I will be back once more tomorrow with a freaking live stream. I hope you will enjoy. This is... Don't flash me. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you in those flashy games. Alrighty, we're up against the Nest of Dragons. Also, the music is turned off, so let's put on some more music. Very good. Opponents going first. I do not like it, but I do like our hand here. So how many games was that now going second? So you on stream, decide to come here to check your stream while I can at it? While you clean. Oh, while well, you clean. Yeah, that is. That is a good idea. Another anchorage. I mean, we need the cards, you know? We're up against enchantments, I guess. Or humans. Enchantments or humans. Yo, thank you very much for the good luck. Okay. So we're up against confusion is what we're up against. It's been like 10 million years that I've tried to make this card work. They're not doing anything. The land here is pretty good, though. Alright, passing the turn. I mean, if they're not doing anything, that is kind of fine with me, you know? That is kind of fine with me. Um, I will be bringing in Malcolm, because I don't want to lose Eren and Giada straight up. I just don't want to. Yo, Creation! Thank you so much for becoming a Zed the Great Hearted. I really, really appreciate it. You think they have a Wandering Emperor coming down here? Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Enjoy your YouTube emotes. Sadly, you cannot see him in the chat here, but, uh, you know, they're still good enough. Alright. Um, do I want that land? Yeah, I'm getting rid of the Thrall. Ending the turn. Kind of really do want that land. Okay. Temporary lockdown. Nothing I can do about that, is there now? Bring in the Thrall once more. If they do have removal... I'd rather them use it on something like this, you know? 11 times in a row? Well, welcome to the Malone streams! <laughs> Yo, been watching your videos for a while now. Glad to catch a stream. I'm very happy that you're here, my friend. It's very cool. Thank you very much. What are they doing, though? Are you, are you here? Uh, who? Kind of just not here at all. Okay, Nest of Dragons. Okay, alright. I see you. 
So there's an enchantment that doesn't care about the doorkeeper thrall. So that is why I didn't do anything here. Alrighty. It's, it's time. It's time. It is time. This has been two minutes now. This has been two minutes of them just not doing anything. It is about gosh darn time. You're from Texas? Yo! Stevie Ray Vaughan is one of my favorite musicians of all freaking time. Breakfast, coffee, and Malone chef's kiss delicious? It is, my friend. Absolutely is chef's kiss delicious. All right. So, nest of dragons. What are you doing, my friend? What are you freaking doing? Okay, I'm bringing in the Wandering Emperor now. Once more, Jada, I, I kind of want to keep that for a surprise attack, you know? Do I know any uh, Spanish MTG streamers? I think um, Bearded Husky is Spanish, right? March of the Wretched Sorrow. Okay, all right. Go ahead and do that, my friend. That was always allowed. We cannot flip this. So let's just attack in. I mean, hey, what's the big whoop, you know? What's the big freaking whoop? You Spanish? All right, perfect. I knew that, you see? I knew that. <laughs> I just freaking knew that. Um, deadly cover-up is kind of all right with me. Is it time for Erend and Giada now? All right. Let's play the stream core scholar because that way we can draw some cards and get rid of these two lands here. I'm getting rid of the thrall. I just wish that I could draw one more card here. Yo, Schwarzakata, how you doing, my friend? How are you doing? All right. That is pretty good. I like it. So let's just attack in. We can still play the Fairy Mastermind afterwards. The Long Goodbye. I'm doing this now. Protecting our Errant and Giada. Seems pretty good. Yes. Thank you very much. Do you think they have another the Long Goodbye? Look how protective he is. Yo, Gilga, how you doing? He from the sp uh, from Spain at the office? Well, office work is important. All right. So we can sack this for two. And then play the Fairy Mastermind if we want to. But we will see about that. They have two cards left. So what even are these two cards, you know? My turn, all right. So, I am slamming in again. One, two, three, four. It could still pay for it. So, bringing in Tishana is not the smartest thing ever. Alright, activating the ability here. Another land. Oh, that sucks. Why did I do that even? Why did I even freaking do that? So what you got here for me now, my friend? Are you going to attack? What do you think their last card is? There's one Spanish magic creator called Magic Walker Protect Project. Very good, very funny. Let's check that out at a certain point in time. I don't... I want to keep up my No More Lies here. If they do have something, I'm not a huge fan, you know? If they're, like, playing a board wipe here now or something, it would be very saddening. All right. So what is on top? That is pretty darn good, isn't it? Yes, because we then still have the counter spell open. So let's do that. And now attack in. All right. I mean, they do have a lot of lands. Two, four, six, nine, ten lands. 
So if they do have something here, I would be slightly sad. But we will see about that. Oh, they were greedy! They were greedy, man! Greed! Killed them so hard here! Oh! My lord! They were so incredibly greedy! What do you think? That I'm not playing counter spells in the blue-white deck? Are you insane, man? Get out of here, Dragon's Nest! We're up against Pottering 12. I think we encountered Pottering yesterday. Opponent going first again. So, yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Game doesn't want us to go first because we're winning too hard. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs kind of sucks here, not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, I remember. They're a fight rigging deck. Yeah, 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 they're a fight rigging deck. They're 100% a fight rigging deck. 100% oh. All right. We do have the Wandering Emperor, though, so we will see about this. Going to attacks. All right. Fine with me. Maybe they're scared of a counter spell. Uh, let's get in Malcolm because that draws us cards. Not a fairy master mind here. Okay, all right. I mean, hey, let's just see what we draw here. Uh, let's get rid of the fairy master mind. Having Tishana here is absolutely all right. Uh, this is, it isn't a mana ability, right? Yeah, I think it is. So, what is your plan here? Okay, chomping it down. This is a good blocker here. Also removes their mana, so I like it a lot. Let's bring in the Vindicator. Kind of free real estate here. Having a life linker is very darn freaking good. And they now just lost the mana. Mm -mm. Come and see me, I cook your plate of carbonara. Yo! Amo la carbonara. Do they really have another chomp? Yo, that is crazy, man. That is kind of crazy. Not gonna lie. But hey, it worked out for them. So yeah. What am I supposed to do about that? All right. There is another land on top here. Yo, Bruno Karam, thank you so much to follow. I really appreciate it. We do have the Wandering Emperor here, so yeah, let's just do that, you know? All right. What a crazy deck this is. I'm, I'm surprised at how well it works. Like, I'm talking about ours, not about the dinosaurs. Of course dinosaurs work. Of course they do. Uh, sadly, this doesn't take care of um, enchantments, because blue is not that good with enchantments. Here's the fight rigging that I was waiting for. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. So doing this now. We do have a little army coming down here. A small little army coming down here. The tranquil frill back. Okay. I was too slow here. Just too slow. They have another chomp. Incredible. In freaking credible. Just another freaking chomp. Okay. All right. Here we go, though. Oh, the Werefox Bodyguard is so good. So freaking good here. Okay, alright. Yo, that little Werefox is putting in a lot of freaking work, man. A lot of work. Yo, creation! Giving out the freaking five subs to the community. Thank you so very freaking much. Yo, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Giving out five subs to the community. That is so kind of you. And now they want me to hydrate. I will do that straight up. Thank you so much, Creation. And welcome to everybody. Welcome, Altanar, Rena West, Kentucky Fried Creature, J-Rock, and Just a Silver Fox. Enjoy your new emotes. So, Pottering, you had it all. Three chomps. 
the dinosaur, the fight rigging, the freaking pugnacious hammer skull, and now you're salty. Well, time to hydrate under the sea. They're just super salty now. Give him a little one of these. Uh -huh. Amazing. Amazing. Yo, thank you so much, Creation. That is so freaking kind of you. You're on the top of the list now. So opponent just straight up left. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that freaking beautiful? Hey, I mean, if they're not here, it gives me a chance for... A little dance! They're still not here, by the way. They're still not here. Still letting a timer run out. But I'm kind of out of breath because of dancing while I'm still playing the kazoo. I mean, I got some, you know, some breath power back in the last two years from my sickness, but I still suffer a little bit. So, opponent just the saltiest person in the universe, letting three timers run out. Three of them. Let's give him a little party here. Exactly. Freaking exactly. They were even here. They were even here. And they hope that, you know, just get freaking out of here, my friend. Get out of here. Dinosaurs, extinct. Giant meteor, Malone, one. Your little puny dinosaurs. Freaking zero, man. Get crushed. The head exploding at the end showed that they were there the entire time. They watched the timer run out themselves. We're still not going first. Yo, that is madness. How many games was that now? Three, four, five, six games in a row. Canker Bloom. We're really back to those shenanigans. Okay. Academy Lore Master coming down. We can wait one turn. At least this time we're not playing anything that, you know, would hate to play against the Canker Bloom. Yep, no blocks here. Alright, so they're a uh, plant deck. We just need to counter the plant then. And then we're kind of alright. Um, yes, take action. I would like to draw one more. I'm not playing Eren and Giada here anyways. So this is fine. I might be bringing down Malcolm to counter it. To counter with it, but we will see about that. We do have the Ottawara in the worst case. We do have Ottawara in the worst case. Did they draw here? Void Wing Hybrid. Okay. Alright, passing the turn here. Void Wing Hybrid. Meteor Malone indeed, my friend. Meteor Malone indeed. I mean, I don't know what you thought would happen here. Oh, they have an Ottawara. Okay, alright. Interesting. Uh, I do have enough cards, so let's decline here. 
Bring in the scholar. Uh, decline, get rid of these two lands here. The flood is real, my friends. The flood is real. Okay, what are you doing? Are you still drawing here? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Never in my life have I seen this card, but now that we are playing a freaking draw two cards deck, they have this? That is kind of crazy, man. That is kind of crazy, man. Kind of freaking crazy, man. Must say. Well, you know, at least we still have answers to it. So they can now draw two cards. Absolutely crazy, man. Absolutely crazy that they have this card when I'm playing the Academy Lore Master. That is kind of crazy. That is indeed kind of freaking crazy. Okay, all right. My turn. Here's Eren and Giada. And the Fairy Master Mind. Pick action, yes. So, ending the turn here. Can still freaking drain me, but they don't wanna. They didn't wanna drain me. Let's do this now. I think this is the best thing we can do. Perfect. He fell right into my tiny Maloney trap here. Just straight up into my tiny Maloney trap. And we're drawing all the cards now. All of them. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, that was just so smart of me. I'm not even too cocky to admit it. Here's the roots now. Okay. And Tyvar, that is super bad for us. Super darn bad for us. Oh my lord, they straight up just found something like that, eh? Rally, my Another Roots, though. Tanker Bloom, alright. So they have a lot of mana now, which I really, really don't like. But is it good enough? Is it good enough? We'll have to see about it. Let's decline here. Put down the Vindicator. to teach you. Let's do this now. Really thought I was going to win that one. Yo, that they really got it here was kind of mad. Insidious freaking roots here. What else will they be doing, though? What a crazy match, man!
Straight up just another one, man. Straight up. Just another one. That is kind of mad. Kind of mad, man. Kind of very, very mad, man. Straight up found another Tyvar here. Y'all. If they're bringing in the Canker Bloom, we're kind of screwed. Aren't we? That was mad. That was very mad. Very, very mad. That they just found it straight up. Yeah, they're, they're doing very well for themselves. Doing ve And a third Canker Bloom. Yo, what? Yo, what, man? Come on, game. Relax. Absolutely relax, man. Just straight up another Canker Bloom here. Straight. Uh, they really... You must say, they, they really have it all here. They really, really have it all. Yeah. Yeah. Now they proliferate. Now they're returning two of these again. Crazy, man. Crazy. Absolutely crazy, man. Absolutely crazy, man. What is on top? Yes, I want that. So, how are we winning here? The Werefox will already help us a lot. Only takes care of creatures, though. Still playing the land here. Hmm. Passing the turn. Alright. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. How they turned this around. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, Doorkeeper Thrall, though. I will be stealing that. Okay. All right. Unreal! Unreal, man! Yo, unreal, man. Absolutely unreal, man. That... That was a scam freaking game if I've ever seen one, man. A scam freaking game. Absolute scam. Three of these, then the double soul cauldron in hand, man. Three times. You know what I mean? And I have not found a single counter spell. Not a sec. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. I feel absolutely scammed here, man. <laughs> absolutely scammed. Krimus! Yes, Krimus! Okay, we can finally go first here. What a time to be alive. Man, that was whack. <laughs> that was absolute whack. You know, the double freaking cauldron at the end. Yo, madness. Absolute madness. But at least we're going first here now. At least we got that going for us. Alright, we're up against... Um... You know what, let's bring in the lore master here. You know, there were so many situations in the game where I felt scammed. It was the one where they had the um, card that says whenever you draw your second card, the opponent loses life. That was crazy already. But then there was even more. Even freaking more. The double cauldron at the end? Yo, what was that? The heck was that? Okay, so we're chilling here. The lore master is absolutely shwasting them. Because they cannot use it. They don't want to use it. But we do. Alright. Yeah, let's have a little two damage. Don't really mind too much. Path of Peril. That ain't gonna happen. Take action, yes. Wandering Emperor now even. That is not even half that bad. Not even half that bad. Alright. So, they really wanted this skeleton to work. 
I am allowed to be salty in a situation like this, where I'm like, oh, I can finally get rid of that stupid thing, and then straight up they just play it again. Yeah, that feels kind of bad. All right. Let's not have that happen. <laughs> Let's not have that happen. Giada now. Okay, that was kind of unexpected, not gonna lie. Kind of very unexpected. Not gonna lie. Yes, I would like to draw another card. Thank you very much. Um, let us do this now. Just attack in. See what they're freaking doing. Yo, this lore master was such a good idea. I loved it. Absolutely loved that idea. Alrighty. So there are angels, but just a weird freaking kind of angels. Okay. So what I wonder here now is, does this prevent this from growing? No, it doesn't. Okay. It doesn't. I hoped it would. Really hoped it would, but it doesn't. Uh, blocking you here. Okay. Very good. Very good. Totally worth it. Um, decline. Bringing in you now. Oh yeah, the Numbo once more. The absolute Numbo once more. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good thing I didn't even think about it. Good thing I didn't even think about it, but it happens. So, are you drawing here, my friend? I mean, that also means that I can just block with the Doorkeeper Thrall now. Which is alright. And who knows, maybe we even draw like, um... Did they do it? Is there a way for me to find out if they did it? Maybe we even find our Werefox bodyguard. Yeah, Jada is pretty good. Steel Seraph now. Okay, alright. Kind of alright with me. What is on top? I was just thinking! No need to just flip the table, man! <laughs> I was just taking a second here to think about it! No need to freaking flip the table! Yo, what was that? Get out of here! We're up against Lustiger Bob, which means Funny Bob. So let us see how- Oh my lord, Krimus! Yes, two games in a row now! I knew we would make a comeback. I knew we would. Let's give him a hello. Friendly wave of the hand. Hello, Bob. All right. That doesn't seem funny at all. Another Werefox bodyguard. Let's also give him one of these. Hey, oh, hey, we have the same emote. We have the same freaking emote. All right, Bob. What are you doing, though? Oh, okay. All right. That is pretty smart. You think they have a cut down? Doesn't look like they do. Alright, we're attacking in here. Sadly, we're missing a blue source, which is kind of sad. Alright. Fine with me. Let's bring in the werefox here. Getting rid of this one that I don't like. Uh, let's be greedy for one turn here. All right. Funny Bob is funny. Funny Bob is funny. Now they play a Brotherhood's End and I will be sad. Windshot Sniper. Okay, all right. That is still all right with me. There is the lore master now. Let's bring it down. Let's bring in another bodyguard. So we can get rid of this sniper. Sniped! Sniped back at ya, man! Sniped right back at ya! So now we also have Tishana's Tightbinder. Uh, they need to have an ability, though. 
Yo, the lore master with the fairy mastermind is also absolute madness. They want to do it. They want to give me an additional card. I like it. Thank you very much. All right. Do you have another answer to the bodyguard? Oh, that is pretty good. Do they gain the life though? No, they don't. So they really, really need an answer here. Going for the throat again here. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Um, no blocks. You can have it. Let's discard a card. We're drawing so many cards. It really doesn't matter. Take action, yes. Another land. So... I feel like this is the right call. Because that way... We can just play the two Tishanas and win. Are you drawing an extra card? You are... Crazy. Okay. Alright. So we do win here? Is that what's going on? Because we have exactsies here? Okay, beautiful! Well, that was very, very beautiful! Very freaking beautiful! Take an additional card, yes please! And uh, then just get in for exact lethal! For exact freaking lethal, man! Oh, that is why I attacked in! Some of you might have said, Nah, don't attack in, Malone! What are you doing? You're crazy! And I am crazy! But it was worth it. It was worth it. Get out of here. We're up against Shenanogans. Whatever floats your boat, my friend. And we're second again. But I kind of do like the hand here, you know. We do have flash creatures. We have like one with a big booty, like some with a small booty. So hey ho, let's go, man. Hey ho, let's go. Hello. What, I'm talking about booties and magic. <laughs> Look, he's a fairy. <laughs> Yo, that is you? Yo, see you afterwards. Let's just turn down the volume. Turn down for what? It's funny that we encounter like one of our viewers almost every single day. That is kind of crazy to me. Yeah, I want the land. Thank you very much. Kind of freaking crazy to me. Like, yesterday we encountered Ellie again. Today it's Daniel. We encounter a lot of our viewers. Uh, let's be able to play something here. So we're up against the World Souls Rage deck, I imagine. Would be the most logical seeing these, you know? Just the most logical seeing these. Alright. Let's bring in uh, Malcolm here. And the lore master. Master! Master! Where's the lore that I've been after? So we really need to find our counter spells. Let us hope that we can do that. Let us hope that we can do it. So, viewers, if you want to play me, just be here during the live streams. A lot of people have been playing. Can we play you? Can we play you? Yeah, during the live stream. Oh, getting rid of the lore master is pretty smart. Pretty darn smurt. Bitter reunion. Okay, now I'm impressed at what might be happening here. Is this enters? Yes. Okay, very good. Very, very good. All right, so we are attacking in here. Uh, let's get rid of the scholar. Academy lore master coming down. Ending the turn. You have another blood splatter analysis. That would be kind of crazy if you did. Kind of crazy. Yo, Mauricio. Como estas? Saludos desde Uruguay. Oh. Impresivo. I, I don't know words. I, I just literally don't know words. Okay. That is absolutely fine with me. You can do that all day long. Yo, what? That is a lot of, a lot of stuff happening here. 
All right, let's bring in the fairy master mine now. And now we're officially chilling. Even another land. But let's attack in first. See what Malcolm can bring to the party. Dove trovo la lista di questo mazzo? Uh, well, first of all, um, I will translate that to, to English. Where can I find the list? If you come to Twitch, you can find the list there by typing in deck. But if you uh, come here from uh, YouTube, you will have to wait until the um, 26th to find it. <laughs> the 20 freaking 6th to find it. Okay, all right. So, uh, Daniel is still putting down uh, lands here, which is all right with me. Absolutely fine. But we do have answers here, so I'm okay with that. Does this have Vigilance? It does have Vigilance. Hello? Hello. Pass into attacks. Um, pass into blockers, no. So once this is on the stack, there will just be Tishana's tight Binder. So we are doing that. Nice. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate the kindness. Really appreciate the kindness. Now here's the Thrall. This is the legacy of the Thrall. Alright. Are we drawing here? I mean, of course we are. Now... Attack in with you, you, and you. So... Bring in the Wandering Emperor, play it. Oh, we still have to pay the two, though. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm not overconfident. You're just you Ending the turn. True. So we will see. We have the Otavara, so I think we can win here next turn. Now that is just like my hopes. My hopes and dreams. Dreams and hopes. Yo, this list is crazy. Absolutely crazy. So what you got here for me, my friend, now? Don't you forget his spaghetti about the doorkeeper throw. Okay. Yep, that is happening. I told you don't forget about the doorkeeper throw. But you literally forgot about it. Okay. Just attacking in with everything here. Interesting. So pass to blocks here and we survive? That is 5-7. Yeah, we still survive here. Alright. That is still not happening. That is still not happening, my friend. All right. Yeah, let's draw another card. Uh, and now just for uh, the final touches, my friend. The deck was pretty cool. I will admit that. The deck was pretty darn cool. I didn't do the math, but I hope that this will be enough. And sure. Wham. Daniel. Good game, my friend. Good game. Thanks for being a loyal viewer of the channel. I really appreciate it. But... I need to beat every single one of you because this is my stream, not yours. I'm just joking. I'm very grateful for the game. See you next time, my friend. See you next time.